Vida louca! Congratulations. Uh, like my good friend David, I look forward to, to being back, uh, uh, hopefully, and to, to be participating, cutting the, the ribbon with everybody uh, who's here. And uh, I wish you Godspeed and good luck. Thank you very much. Of course, it's necessary to build such a place. Uh, and I'm glad that Canadian authorities have coped with the same effort for initial Effort that financially Portuguese authorities have already given to the center and to the local Canadian Shadow Society in Toronto. But more than the fashion bell, we need the effort of every one of you. Every and single one of the Portuguese local Canadians that live in this country must commit themselves to the benefit of those that are in more need in this society. I want to thank Joe for all the great work that he's done here and heading this group. and. Uh, we can see the success in the past two years that uh, Nandoni Lena obviously started this and it's been a great job. Um, it's also my job to, to thank the Portuguese government for the financial uh, help that they've given us over the past couple of years and it hasn't been that small, it's been pretty good up to now. Up to last week it was actually more than the Canadian government. So <laughs> on behalf of all uh, Portuguese citizens, thank you very much. Uh, and obviously I want to thank our provincial government and very well represented here. Uh, for the uh, throwing the big stone on the project. Uh, it's, it's definitely you know the stone that we needed to put this building up and get it running and put it together. Uh, you know it was it was a long fight, but uh, the entire government had to yeah, listen. said here today is definitely a historic day for the Portuguese community in uh, in, in Hamilton especially. And uh, I mean myself and my family have actually been personally connected. To this, uh, to this organization. My my aunt is a part of the organization, and my uh, my cousin who was with us a few years ago, she was also part of the organization. So we saw the great work that you guys do. We really saw the difference that you make in these people's lives, and um, and, and you can't forget about them. So I think that it is long overdue, but you guys kept on working hard, and uh, and anything worthwhile is worth the fight. So you guys are here, and this is a huge step, uh, in, you know, into, into the right direction. So. It's great to see everybody here and supporting this great cause, and uh, I'll be supporting you as, as long as I can. So, Quero abraçar todos nesse dia que marca esta organização, os deficientes, que marca a vida da comunidade portuguesa aqui em Amin. Após escutar as congratulações de todos que aqui já falaram, também gostaria de desejar muito êxito para esta organização que também trazemos no peito, no coração e na nossa oração também e desejar muita força, desejar muita coragem e sobretudo a bênção do Deus Trindade, Pai, Filho e Espírito Santo and as an, our agency, we've been talking about how we can do some more things together, and we really look forward to that. So congratulations. Good morning to all. I'm very happy to be here and to just see the enthusiasm and the kind of support that your initiative is taking. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to confirm that Saturday, the 15th of October, CIRVFM will arrange for a radiothon from 11 in the morning to 7 in the afternoon. FPTV will provide live coverage to help discuss because your initiative deserves all inputs, not only from the federal level, government level, provincial government, local government, the seat of Hamilton, but also it deserves 
a great effort from all communities, in particular our Luso Canadian community. It needs a great deal of effort, it needs a lot of volunteers, it needs ideas, but it needs at the end of the day money. <laughs> Yeah, go hard, John. Go hard. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,